my friend. Falls on me to do her bad news. I shall not punish him. Bitch. The machine will not apologize to us. The machine refused to admit that hurt us. Teşekkürler never back down. Hoş geldin dostum. You problem. We are stronger than it thinks we are. Want to wait till I doubt it. We do not it's games. Let us pay to the mission now. We will destroy everything that the machine has created. Machine you put on. Machine yok. Yine sahneye geldik. Wow, jam. Steam'den aldım ben de. Ama biraz onun. Ole be. Tüm oyunlarını birleştirmiş bir. Koda, I'll make you sure work this year. O zaman Grain'i seyrediyoruz. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's damage. having a very negative effect on him, <laughs> and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people. To get some actual feedback on his games, it might get him out of isolation. No. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Koda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for him? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? Hmm. En sevdiğim bölüm oldu bu. Zannedersem. So I started showing Koda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all is just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Amaç yok. Amaç yok. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good. That I am good. When when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something. I really felt like I'd done something good. Like like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Arkadaşların da atmış oyunları. Ar o arkadaşlar da çok sevmiş. Öyle olduğunu söyleyince çok mutlu olmuş bu da. Çok so iyi anyway, Koda finishes this game and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Uh, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email 
Sonra bir gün e-mail almış. Koda'nın yeni oyunu ile ilgili bir private link almış. Tower diye bir. Koda'nın yaptığı son oyun bildiğim son oyun. Bu zaman ona bir bakalım. Bu zaman ona bir bakalım. Bu zaman ona bir bakalım. Bu zaman ona bir bakalım. Bir süre çekileceğini söylemiş ve ondan sonra bir daha haber alamamış Koda'dan. Sonra bir e-mail'e link gelmiş. E, private link. E, ve oyunun ismi The Tower'mış. Ondan sonrasında e, bir oyun yaptığımı benim bildiğim son oyunu buydu dedi. Ya seçildi ama Battlefield Hardline Steam'i niye yok acaba oyunu çıkarıyla bayağı aldım var yok. Çünkü Steam'de satılmayacak. Ubisoft'un oyunu değil mi? Battlefield. Uplay'dan satılır. U Steam'e gelmez oyun. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. Hmm. Biraz daha mesafe ee, koymak istiyormuş. Yani dünya ile arasına ve o yüzden baya soğuk bir oyun dedi. This room actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Yeah, I went kendim geçmek istiyordum. Şimdi şurada şey yapmadı yapmış. Peki buraya direkt atlayınca yapıyor mu? Yapmıyor. Hop. Buradan geri çıktım. Hop. Işığa geldim. Almadı. Tamam. Enter. Bir de enter alsam bir şey yok. Oyunu, oyunu orijinal nereden indirecek oyun? Aynen. Eee... Orijinden direkt indiriyor. Orijinal library'si var Steam gibi oraya indiriyor. Çünkü ben bitirdikten bir saat sonra anca anladım ha. Oynadığın karakteri hiç anlamadığı başa çıkmaya çalışıyor. Kısacası bu. Oynadığın karakter hiç anlamadığı bir şeyle başa çıkmaya çalışıyor. Genelde oynadığım karakter. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores, and you just cleaned a house forever. Evet. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house, and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Anladım. Anlatamadım ama anladım. Orijinal sitesinden bakabilirsin ama dost. Hop, geri sayayım. The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. Anam. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Bak. Beş haneli bir rastgele, rastgele değil de kodmuş bu. Ve neden hala burada olduğunu bilmiyorum. Ulaşabilseydim sorabilirdim. Ama ulaşamadım tarzında bir şey dedi. Aynen. Orijin bir program var hocam. Anladım ki koda tırlatmaya başlamış. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. 
Hmm. And it's scary for me. The idea of Coda cutting himself off entirely. Just saying, you know, that's it. That's the end of the conversation. Not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. Tüm her yeri e, bulup o sayıyı tahmin edip ya da deneyerek bulup buraya kadar gelseniz bile aslında kapının açılacağı açma tuşu iç taraftaymış ve o yüzden aslında bu oyunun burada bittiği kısımmış. Daha doğrusu e, konversasyon iletişim diyebilirim. İletişimin bittiği kısımmış e, ve şeyde anlatıcı da bizim için o kapıyı açtı. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? You know, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution. But I feel it somehow. Oh, I feel oh, like fuck. I failed. And I don't understand why. I remember. It's June of 2011. I'm playing this for the very first time. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew. It wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of work to this mı? point, and then suddenly none of them. I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. Ah, aynen. Üç nokta oluyor ya bazı yerlerde. Onun anlamı ne diye sormuş. Fakat cevap alamamış. Daha çok. Hocam gösteriyorum. Eee, bakıyorum Battlefield Hardline yazdığımda hangisini alacağım? Bir standart dışı yazan onu mu alacağım? Hocam. Bu var işte. Ya bu standart edition'ı alacaksın ya ultimate edition'ı alacaksın. Ki satmıyor. Satıyorlar mı? Satıyorlar. Ya da digital deluxe edition'ı alacaksın. Hepsinin içeriği de farklıdır. Burada da aradaki farkı göstermiş. Standart edition'da şunlar. Bu var. Bu var. Bu var. Deluxe edition'da şunlar var. Ultimate Edition'da da her şey var. Sadece Gold Packs yok. Bunlarda ne olduğuna bakmak istiyorsan tekrar buradan açabilirsin. Bu kadar basit anlatıyorsun. Bu kadar hocam. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Çok duygusal lan. Where did I screw up? I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. Thank you for your interest in my games. I need to ask you not to speak to me anymore. Hmm. Bir daha konuşmamasını istiyormuş. I don't think I ever told you this. But when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Uh, at times, after you think I'm making these games for you. Hmm. Adam Aslında. 
And yes. the people who played them 